Okay, so so this is the last video for the Virginia Cotton Board research for the agronomic research trials. So one of the things that we put on the Virginia Cotton Board proposal is our subsurface drip irrigation studies where we're looking at PGR versus uh, with and without drip tape irrigated cotton, uh, subsurface drip irrigated cotton. And I want we want to just pan through the field real quick. So this is our subsurface drip irrigation, and if you look very closely at at the cotton here, you can see it's leaning. We have cotton that's that's leaning, um, and it's it's been blown over by the hurricane here recently. And this is one of the things that we've noticed the two years we've been doing this research is that subsurface drip irrigation we can kind of strip till the this field but it's still planted basically no-till so we're we're not really ripping underneath the road so we don't get taproot production and you can see this i pulled up these plants right here and you can see right here so this this plant right there this is non-irrigated and you see that there is no tap root on this plant right here there's no tap root we come over this is this is irrigated and you see it's a bigger plant much bigger plant probably a good eight inches taller a lot more fruiting nodes and, and a lot more bowls on it this is subsurface irrigated still no tap root on that plant and then we come over to the right to, to this to the last plant over here and this is this is uh fertigated so we've run 40 pounds of nitrogen through the drip tape again no tap root so when we go to this type of system what we're seeing now is that we have limited tap root production and when we get high winds from a from a tropical system or even from a thunderstorm and we have bowl load as you can see, this plant right here has quick count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten harvestable bowls right now. We're and we're steadily adding bowls on the irrigated and fertigated plots. You can see the height difference in the plants here, where this dry spell from the end of June through early August has really set back the non-irrigated plots. So if we had not have had the hurricane or the tropical storm come uh, early August, this cotton would be standing straight up. We would see more differences in the PGR treatments than what we have right now. Um, it's hard to tell because the cotton is leaning. It's got a bowl load, especially the irrigated plots. Uh, let's walk down and let's see if we can. not So if you look across this, this cotton still kind of standing up. But you see, you still see the row middles, even with it leaning, short cotton all the way around. Let me get in here so you can, so you can kind of see, you get an idea. This is the cotton standing up, knee tall, knee high cotton. This is non-irrigated. Let's, uh, let's walk down here. We're gonna come, now we're in an irrigated treatment irrigated stand this back up we're coming to my waist so we're not putting a huge amount of water on this cotton a week we're putting about eight tenths nine tenths of an acre inch on this cotton um, through the drip tape uh, this system runs six days a week and, but we're able to put almost an inch of water out here and, it, and really what we're seeing is it doesn't get excess excess growth on here we're maintaining that growth and we don't have enough moisture to really to really balloon growth let's go down all right we're going back in we went we were irrigated this right here this is again the dry land and if you look down across the field the dry land standing up but the plants are much shorter uh, the fruit load is much uh, less than on the irrigated and the fertigated plots we come down to the last the last tier down here and this is the fertigated these are fertigated plots right here um, that are leaned over and this is a high PGR so we put 200% PGR on this on this and we're going to pull up this plant and you see again right here no tap root and that's because we're planting no-till in this field to, to avoid messing with the drip tape but 
if you look at these fruiting branches and one thing you'll notice also in this field with irrigation or with the water that's being provided maturity is delayed but as we pull leaves off of this plant and we look this is the first fruiting branch right here um we see we've set three three squares on that fruiting branch three squares this is fertigated three squares on that one this next fruiting branch we have two we're missing that first position the next fruiting we have one two one we have some squares and if we continue to get balloons on this plant but again this is plants a little bit behind where we have non-irrigated so irrigation has delayed maturity uh, and if you look at these inner node spacings and we'll get close you see about finger two fingers and a half we're starting to elongate right here two fingers in that inner node two fingers there two fingers there two fingers there we've able to keep this cotton short by spoon feeding water and nutrients through the drip tape uh, so we have a short plant however planting no-till we have a limited root system and that's something that we're going to have to troubleshoot if we're going to adapt the subsurface drip irrigation uh, in the future cotton looks good it's just that the hurricanes come through knocked it over i think we have a high yield potential in this field uh this whole field is three and a half acres that is under drip um it's all automatically controlled and we have in this field i'm standing in we have two varieties uh three nitrogen rates three pgr treatments out here and three irrigation treatments so there's like a hundred and almost 200 plots in this one field and there's 180 some plots in the far field where we're looking at drip tape spacing uh, in terms of 36 inch drip tapes, 72 inch drip tapes and no irrigation. And then we have a total of four varieties in that with four PGR treatments to see how we need to manage with drip irrigation cotton moving forward. Uh, we're gonna bring this to harvest. And uh, right now I think it's looking good. We've actually stopped irrigating because of the moisture we've had in the past week. Um, and I thank you for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or reach out by phone, call, text uh, about any of the studies. Thank you.